integrating Vault into your project is no trouble at all. We're going to create a totally sweet capsule character from scratch, put an inventory on it, and then put some totally sweet items into that inventory. All right, let's open up this demo character script I've just created. And we will write some obnoxiously large code so that you can read it. First thing we're going to do is turn this into a network behavior. And the second thing we're going to do is implement the I use inventory interface. These are going to be implemented as properties and we don't actually want properties. We want the inventory variable here to be exposed in the inspector, which means that we'll have to use a backing field and serialize that private backing field. All we have to do for that is to add the serialized field attribute and that's all there is to it. Now we'll see this in the inspector and we can populate that field with a component later. For the transform, we can just do transform. Because we know that before we're looking for the transform, it's going to be on this game object. Now we can implement a couple of methods from the network behavior class. First one will be on start local player. Since we want something to happen when the local player starts, this is where we do it. What would we want to happen? Well, one thing would be the player has no idea on this client what's in that inventory. Since the server holds the authority and all the information, we need this client to request that information from the server. So we'll say inventory command refresh all from server. So this lets the server know that we want all the information for this inventory. What else do we want to happen when the local player starts? Well, since it's a local player, we can go ahead and let the camera system know that the local player spawned, and then the camera can begin tracking. We can do that by saying on player spawn invoke. What spawned? This. Now if anything's listening, which the camera is, it will pick it up and start following. The other thing we can implement is on start client. What can we do in on start client? Well, this would be a good place to initialize the inventory itself. We don't want to do that in local player because all clients need to initialize their inventories, whether they have authority over them or not. So let's go ahead and do that. Inventory initialize. And we'll say that this is the owner. Now the inventory will be initialized when the client starts, and if it's the local player, it will request all of the information from the server, and will, it will invoke the local player spawn action for this client. And that's all. We're done. Save our script. Go back to Unity. And now let's make a prefab out of this. Let's go ahead and create a capsule, because capsules are the best characters and an empty object to put it under. Let's center these both and bring them on up. Then put the capsule underneath the character game object and on the character game object we'll put an inventory component which automatically adds a network identity so that it can be tracked over the network which is critical and then we'll go ahead and add our demo character script. Now the demo character script is going to be looking for an inventory because we exposed that private field and serialized it. So we'll drag that in there and then we'll specify the configuration for this inventory will be the one that we use for the example in the demo. Now we can make this a prefab and in order to spawn as this character we just need to go to the mirror network manager and then here where it says player prefab, we'll switch this out with our new character. Then when we press play and we launch as the host, we spawn as a really cool capsule right here. And since we didn't delete our other capsule, it's standing out here in space. There's no errors in the console and the grids are populated with data. Since we don't have any starting items, there's nothing here to see, but the inventory is fully functioning. 
And there you go, you just made a character. Since starting the game with no items is super boring, we're gonna go ahead and add a loot table so that the server will give us items when we begin. So in our script, we're gonna go ahead and add a public loot table called loot. And then we're gonna give it the asset dropdown attribute and say it's a type of loot table. This will give us a cool uh, dropdown list when we click it in the expector so we can easily pick the loot table that we want. Now in order to get the items into our inventory we'll use the on start client method. This is, we can do this because in the host architecture the server is also a playing client so this will be run. If you're in headless mode you need to use on start server because it won't run any client methods. So since we're in the normal architecture we can say if is server then we're going to loop through the loot table and add each one of the items. Loot items dot length. And then say, well, if the loot item is null, then forget about it. Loot dot items index equal equals null continue but if it's not null then let's go ahead and add it to the inventory inventory dot do add and we have to make a new root item stack because we're adding a stack of items not just one item so let's say new root item stack and we're going to say the the item that we want is going to be loot items i and then the amount that we want is going to be loot dot amounts index. And that should do it. Now, the sound manager is going to be really upset that we don't have an audio source on our character. So let's go to our prefab and add an audio source so that we can play sounds. And we're also going to choose our loot table player starting for loot. This is the same one that the demo uses, so we'll just reuse it here. And then we'll give it a try. Start as a host. And boom, we have items. And that's all it really takes to get items in your inventory. This will work as another client. You know, if you save this and build it, other clients will join, they'll get the exact same results. And uh, that's, that's all there is to it.